Welcome to Dramonday. Hi guys. Welcome to Lee Reacts. Hope everyone's having a good day. I know I am. We are back with a a new band, a duo technically, a vocal duo actually, surprisingly. Um, the Carpenters. Um, this is a drum solo from Karen Carpenter, who was the other member other than Richard Carpenter. Um, this is from 1976. Uh, so the person who sent it in sent in... Um, like a search results one so like he didn't send in a link exactly for a youtube video so i think it's this one hopefully it's the right one and if it's not i doubt he really cares um as long as it's drum solo this is from our patron robert k thank you for your support robert i truly appreciate it um i don't know what song exactly this is either um i bet i can check real quick hold on it strike up the band it's in it's in spanish of course it's in spanish why would why would it not be all right um yeah, yeah, the 20th uh, de se September row. <laughs> I don't know, man. Um, so we're just going to watch it and see what happens. Um, like I said, we do Drummond Day every Monday. Usually, I took a break last week just because I'm trying to, like, give breaks to things and, like, let things breathe and not overload everybody because I already do, like, five to six videos a day, you know, and that's more than enough. And I don't want to push people away and kind of, like, you know, annoy them with, like, so many videos, you know? So I'm, I don't know. I'm just kind of rambling. All right, because I kind of don't know what to say about I don't have an intro for this. It's, it's the Carpenters, and it's a drum solo. This video is no help, so <laughs> thank you again, Robert. Not subscribed, just do it if you can, man. There's a button right down there. Just, you just click it, and then, you know, then you're subscribed. And if you like the video, there's a like button, like a thumbs up thing. Click that. Maybe leave a comment, too, if you're not busy. All right, Carpenters. Karen Carpenter, drum solo, 1976. In three, two, one. Go. And yes, this is a very sad history to this band. People often stop to ask me how I first began to play. The answer is very simple. It all started out this way. I was a ten-year-old myopic who would always drop the ball. While the other guys were up playing Nicky Mantle, I was home playing Les Paul, making music. Me and yeah. my friend, one man band, banging on the keyboard. Practice every afternoon, pretty soon, I knew every high broad tune. Beating rhythm to the grand, making music. She and my grand, two man band, bang to the keyboard. Practice every afternoon, pretty soon. We're playing right in tune. Uh oh, drum line, let's go. Marching band. An old snare line. And then she asked our folks for her own set of drums. What? Oh, this is on the BBC too. Okay, alright, that makes sense. Oh. Work that shit. And 
more and more furniture kept leaving the house as more and more drums kept moving in. <laughs> I love that this is like a show too, basically. Check out the Tom line too. Oh my god. This is awesome. She is insane, dude. Oh my god. Look at that line of percussive instruments, bro. <laughs> Oh shit, there's another drummer back there too. What the fuck? I even hear him. I guess the I wonder whether yeah, the hi hat going. She's not in the hi hat. Yeah. Fucking awesome. Oh, fuck. Send it back. <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> I would have so much fun, dude. If I had all that, what? Hell yeah, Karen. That was awesome. That is so fucking cool, man. Uh oh. Isn't that fun? Oh. Sorry, my uh, stage hand is getting my my set back together for me. That's fine, thank you. Was that not fucking amazing or what, dude? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> so I literally, so it Jim. So I'm guessing that's Jim. Gor oh, I don't know if it's Jim Gordon or Cubby O'Brien. Let me check. Literally, of course, that his picture is. A, a, look what Cubby O'Brien's picture is. Come on, man. All right, Jim Gordon. I've seen Jim Gordon before. I don't think that was Jim Gordon. Maybe it was. I'm looking at their album that came out the same year of this performance, which is A Kind of Hush. It's an awesome name for an album, by the way. Um, so I'm guessing that song we just listened to is Strike Up the Band. I'm going to look that up, too. Hold on. Strike Up the Band. It's a film from the 1940s. Okay, yeah, so it's just for the drum solo, I guess, for this BBC thing. All right, okay, so it's called Karen Carpenter Strikes Up the Band. Okay. Starting out the unique vocal version of G George Gershwin's Strike Up the Band, Karen calls on Richard to get the concert going. Okay, so there's really, like, not much of this. I guess that was at the Palladium? Flat broke. There's a kind of hush, jambalaya. Sorry, there's just, I'm trying to figure it out, but whatever. Um, I, either way, whoever that drummer was, it was like going with her. 
they were such a fucking awesome team there for like 30 seconds when they were just going down that Tom, like the Tom line, like, oh my God, that was my favorite part. They were just perfectly in sync and just sending it back and forth to each other. And it was basically just like the, like a high school band, literally like a drum line. And like she had the Tom kit. She had the regular snares. Like it was amazing, man. And then she had a regular kit too. She had stage hands bringing stuff in and out. Like it was nothing, man. That like, <laughs> that's so fucking cool. I mean, I don't know if like the rest of their music is like this because it said they were like a vocal duo that does soft rock and pop and stuff like that. I don't know if that's true. I've never listened to them other than this. So all I have to go off of is this. And I think it is one hell of a show. And I'm definitely down to do more. If you guys have any other suggestions by them, leave it down below and I will definitely check them out. Definitely. Um, she is special, ma'am. And I, I read up on their story, which is... Um, Kind of heartbreaking, man, because she passed away very young. Um, she had, I guess, eating disorder, uh, which is sad. Um, Karen Carpenter, Richard Carpenter. Um, they had a 14-year-long career. Uh, they had 10 albums, many singles, and several television uh, specials. They were active from 65 to 83, basically. Um, they toured in the 70s, but put them under increased strain. Richard took a year off in 79 and became addicted to Quaaludes, while Karen suffered from anorexia. Um, their joint career ended in 83 when Karen died from heart failure, brought on by complications of anorexia. Um, her death triggered widespread coverage and research into eating disorders. Uh, their music continues to attract critical and commercial success. They have sold more than 100 million records worldwide, making one of the best selling, making them one of the best selling music artists of all time. And uh, I've only heard them brought up like by you guys in like conversation on Discord or like on the chat and stuff. And so I never really heard of them before. I didn't know their story until I read up before the you know this video. Um, and what a sad, what a sad tale because they seem like such bright individuals here. They both seem so um, happy and alert and I don't know, like just, just, I don't know. I liked their vibes. Their energy was really good. I could just tell, man. And it's such a shame because it's the, the most hurt souls that are the nicest, most caring and kind people. Cause I think we know what it's like to not have, you know, love in our lives or someone to be kind to us because we've been through it. We know that people in this world can be cruel and the world itself can be cruel. And uh, just showing a little kindness to people can go a long way. And I need to remind myself of that every day because I definitely have many opportunities where I just don't, you know, and that's something I need to work on. I need to be more kind um, just to everybody, you know, like I'm a, I'm a chill dude. I'm a good dude, but I, there's just a lot going on. And, you know, sometimes I, your life just, you know, I don't know, just gets in the way of other things. It feels like, and, um, sometimes you just have to be humble and remember who you are. And, uh, I'm very grateful for all of you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for attending another drum Monday. And if you have any other suggestions, any drum solos, any videos that feature drummers, drummers like this, leave it down below as well. It doesn't have to be the carpenters and uh, maybe I'll do it for next week. Cause if I don't get a request for it, I need something to do. So you never know. I might do it. Um, I appreciate you guys for watching these. Um, I definitely want to go down the rabbit hole, with the carpenters now because I'm very interested and uh, it's, it's apparently Richard's still alive to this day. Um, but I don't know, man, it's very sad. And I want to hear what they have to offer. So if you have any good tracks by them, leave them down below and I'm down to listen to more. So thank you for watching. I will see y'all later. If y'all know Patreon right here. Yeah, everyone. There's a link in the description. If you join the $15 tier or up, you get one free request a month. If you join any of the tiers, you get access to all of our block videos and full album reactions. There are tons of them on there, hours and hours of it. And there's also a PayPal and Cash App in the description for tips, requests, and anything else. Thank you for watching. I will see y'all the fuck later. <laughs>